across live to our reporter Sara Kimani, who is in Nairobi, Kenya. Sara, good afternoon. What is the latest? What is happening there right now? Oh, well, the explosions have now ceased because uh, earlier, about 30 minutes ago, there were loud explosions, continuous, followed by a uh, gunfire. That has stopped now, but what I can see from the shopping mall is a uh, thick black smoke. Uh, it's been going on now for some time, but now the area, uh, we cannot hear anything. So we just know that the hostages are still trapped inside. We don't know how many they are. We don't know if any of them have died in these uh, explosions that have just happened. So is there any new update on how many people exactly have died? Well, uh, what the government had issued earlier in the day was 69 uh, and about 63 missing. But now from what we have just had in the mall, uh, it is clear that many people may have been caught up in that, but we cannot tell how many. Also because we ha nobody has a clear indication of exactly how many people had been left in the mall by the time of the, uh, after the rescue, the, the initial rescue attempt. Now, we know that one South African has been confirmed uh, dead. Um, any uh, further information on any other South Africans who might have been involved or uh, held up at, at, at this point, Sarah? No, I understand uh, the Kenyan answer. The South African government uh, says that there are no more uh, South Africans who are in the building. Uh, but uh, that is also to be confirmed because what is happening now uh, in the hospitals around here, uh, at the tracing center, relatives are turning up to look uh, for people who may have been in and around the mall at the time of the explosion. Because somebody may actually have not been, in, been inside the mall, but the shooting started about uh, 500 meters away from the entrance of the mall. So it is likely that any person could have been caught up. But at this point, we do not know whether there are any other South Africans who may have been in the incident. Do we know whether there is any direct contact with the people holding uh, people uh, at gunpoint in this mall? Is there any negotiations happening at this point? Well, uh, from, the, from the look of things and from where I, I am, I doubt any negotiations are going on. And if they're going on, then probably they have failed. Or what is happening now is probably a way of getting the Kenyan government to speak louder or to, you know, to increase if it is a ransom that they're asking for. But clearly, things are getting out of hand here. So there may be no negotiations taking place. Also, because the Al Shabaab has said they were not going to uh, negotiate with the Kenyan government. The Kenyan government, on the other hand, saying it was not planning to pull out of Somalia. All right, our reporter Sarah Kimani coming to us live from Nairobi, Kenya.